Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a different kind of video for you. We are going to be talking about the song Gravity by John Mayer from the Continuum album and why we've all been playing it wrong for about 16 years. So the other day I downloaded this uh, track extracting software on my computer and just wanted to kind of dive in and see what it was about and just kind of test out some tones. So I decided to take a look at Gravity. Now, Gravity is one of those songs that I've been playing along with for the better part of 15, 16 years, whenever, um, however long it's been since that album came out. But I always noticed that something sounded not quite right. Um, we all know that John likes that that fourth position on a strat, and that he used the black one uh, for that particular song on the fourth position. He even mentions it in that black one custom shot video he did with Mike Eldred. He said that it was the fourth pickup position from heaven, or something like that. But when I was using this track extracting software, I ISO'd that part, and we're just talking about the studio album, that intro, and it had the hollowness and the presence and bite of a neck pickup. So I think that intro part was not on the fourth position, it was on the neck pickup. So here's what we're gonna do. I have that track pulled up, it's ISO'd, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play along to it. I'm gonna use the neck pickup, and then I'm going to play it back to you so you can hear it. And I'm gonna have my guitar in the left ear and the original on the right ear. So you wanna listen using headphones or some really high quality studio monitors, okay? Probably not through a phone because you're not gonna get that panning effect, okay? You wanna be able to hear them individually but together at the same time, if that makes sense. Then we're gonna switch to the four position and play it back. So I'm using my Michael SX Custom. These are Lawler Blondes, really low output pickups. Um, I would compare them to like a black one or the Big Dippers, like they're really, really low output. So we're gonna use this guitar and I have the tracks pulled up and let's get started. All right, everyone, so we have GarageBand pulled up here with some tracks. Um, it's a little bit clustered, sorry about that, but here's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna be using this guy right here. This is the original uh, recording that I extracted. So this is the iso uh, intro part. So it has that kind of slidey, bendy thing going. It does have the fills in there. Now, if you listen to the actual recording, you're gonna hear uh, basically two guitar parts going on at the same time. Uh, there is some crossover, so it, it couldn't be one person playing, or it couldn't be John playing both those parts at the same time, um, even though he does do that live, so like those double stops and whatnot. Um, but we're just gonna play that kind of bendy part. Um, right here we have the track for the neck pickup, it's panned hard left, the original is panned hard right, so uh, when you are listening to this part of the video, make sure you have some either headphones on or maybe you're listening through studio monitors, speakers, just so you can get that, uh, that panning going on because that's really important. I want you to be able to hear both of them at the same time. So I'm going to try to play it as best as I can, as close as I can. Um, Let's really quick go to FM9 edit. I'm using the Fractal FM9. This is my signal chain. Very uh, continuum-esque type of signal chain. We have a two rock amp model. We have a Dumble ODS 
amp model with their respective cabs in here. Um, we have a Bricasti style reverb. Now, don't know what kind of reverb John used at that point, but I do really like the kind of Hall Bricasti style reverb that we got going on here. John does mention that there's a tremolo effect in gravity and he does tend to use that live quite a bit. So we have a harmonic trem set pretty subtle. So can't really hear it very much, but it does something really nice to the attack. And also when you hang on those notes, we have a little bit of a, a mid push drive here with the T808 overdrive tube screamer set really low. Uh, you guys will probably fight me on it saying that no, it was uh, like the blues breaker, but I tried the blues breaker and just for some reason I just wasn't, it just wasn't working for me. Uh, I really like how this adds a little extra beef. Now this right here, it's a pitch block and it's a detuner. So basically we're trying to get a little bit of a, a stereo image going. So when you listen to the actual recording and play along with it, it almost sounds like either your guitar is out of tune or John's guitar was out of tune. Um, it could be a couple things, maybe a stereo detune uh, that they added to get the guitar part to pop out in front of the mix, or uh, it could be just something coming from the tape machine that they were recording on. So who knows? But that's my signal chain. Uh, pretty simple, but let's go ahead and play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play along with the track and then I'll make sure to uh, play them both together right after uh, we get done with this. So here we go. Neck pickup, uh, have the tone rolled back to about eight. Gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing and it says fourth fourth position. We're gonna go ahead and try the same thing. We're gonna keep all the same controls going except flip into that fourth position neck middle. Hopefully what you are hearing is the hollowness and the presence and the bite in John's guitar, uh, which lends itself to more of a neck pickup on a Strat. Um, don't know like what he was using like to mic it. Well, I, th I guess we do know that he was using some 87 dynamic mic setup. I don't, I think that's what it was, but you never know what else that they were using, but we're just trying to approximate here in this kind of test out a theory. But when I listen back to the fourth position, there's a little something that's lost. Um, it's uh, again, the hollowness, there's an attack that's missing, um, a beefiness. Um, we do know that obviously John uses the fourth position live for this particular part all the time. Um, I don't think he's ever really used anything other than that pickup position, but think of it this way. If John were to be using the exact same rig in the studio, playing 
these two parts on the same exact pickup position, uh, it's not going to pop through the mix. So it was probably something that they decided on in the studio setting. So listen back to this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is just a theory, something uh, I had fun with, but hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye.